Hi and welcome to part 11 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On part 9 we created repository interfaces and on the last part we created some dummy mocks. We needed the mocks to provide us with some data to our controllers. But the services and their implementations are still unknown for our application. So on this part we are going to configure our services and their implementations which are repository interfaces and mocks respectively. To do that you need to go to startup.cs class. Here we configure all the services that we have created and will be creating on the future parts. In the configure services method we have as parameter i service collection interface and as the name already indicates it's used to access a list of different services. So let us add our services as well. To add the service you need to write services dot add transient. The add transient method takes two parameters. The first one is the interface and the second one is the implementation for that interface. This method indicates that every time an interface is invoked, which is the first parameter, I will get back a new concrete implementation, which is the second one. For our case, we are going to write as first parameter the idrink repository, and as the second one, we are going to write the implementation for this interface, which is mock drink repository. The same way we configure the i category repository. And the implementation for i category repository is mock category repository. So until now we have configured our services. And on the next part we are going to create our first controller. And later we are going to use our services to get some data to our controllers. Thank you for watching and see you on the next part.